Before you begin, you must have the 5100 series building communication systems administrative phone operating instructions, simplex publication SND-31-014. This tape shows you how to operate your administrative phone or admin phone while using the administrative phone operating instructions as reference. As a 5100 system operator, you will use your admin phone to communicate with stations in the system, to distribute music or tones, and activate or deactivate signal schedules. For this video, we'll only cover portions of the basic operations section by demonstrating the operating procedure. You may want to stop the video before or after each demonstration to review the written procedure in the operating instructions. Before going further, let's talk about your admin phone. You can communicate through your phone by lifting the phone's handset from its cradle and then talking into the handset. Yes, Mr. Hatch. Great, we'll be expecting him. Thank you. Or by pressing the phone's on, off, or speaker switch to turn on the microphone speaker in the phone's base. Yes, Mr. Hatch. I'm sending Billy up with today's attendance. Great, we'll expect him. Thanks. To terminate a call, hang up the handset, or if you're using the microphone speaker, press the on off or speaker switch a second time. We'll use the handset throughout this video. Let's start with generating an emergency all call to all speaker locations. Open to page two of the operating instructions. Note that emergency messages override all activities throughout the system. Here's a demonstration. To generate an emergency all call, lift the handset and press pound pound zero. Issue the message, then hang up. May I have your attention please? Will the school nurse please report to the office? Will the school nurse please report to the office? Next, we'll generate an emergency zone page. Note that zones are entered as their number plus 10. For example, we enter zone 1 as 11. To generate an emergency zone page, lift the handset and press pound star. Now press 1 1 for zone 1. Issue the message, then hang up. May I have your attention, please? Will all faculty members please assist the students in evacuating the main lobby? Will all faculty members please assist the students in evacuating the main lobby? Now we'll distribute emergency tones. The list of emergency tones and their corresponding numbers is shown on page two. Here's an example of placing a tornado emergency tone. To distribute the tornado emergency tone, lift the handset, press pound pound one, and hang up. Note that emergency tones will sound over all speakers until you issue the stop command. To stop an emergency signal tone, lift the handset, press pound, pound, five, then hang up. Turn to page three to review examples of answering calls. Let's enable the call forward after timeout function. This function forwards calls from an admin phone to another station after the call goes unanswered for a predetermined time. To enable the call forward after timeout function, lift the handset, press pound 71 star, then hang up. To disable the call forward after timeout function, lift the handset, press pound 71 pound, and hang up. Now let's enable the immediate call forward function to forward all calls from an admin phone to another station. To enable the immediate call forward function, lift the handset, press pound 72 star, then hang up. To disable the immediate call forward function, lift the handset, 
press pound seven to pound and hang up. Turn to page four. Here's an example of how to pick up a call that is directed to another station. To pick up a call, lift the handset at the present location and press pound seven three. You will now receive the call directed to the other location. Now we'll transfer a call. To transfer a call, press the switch hook, hook flash, to place the call on hold. Dial the station that you want to receive the call and hang up. Or after the third party answers, hook flash and hang up. Next, we'll generate a conference call. To generate a conference call, press the switch hook, hook flash, to put the call on hold. Dial the station that you want included in the call. The third party answers. Press the switch hook, hook flash, again. All parties are now connected. Here's how to join a call in progress. To join a call in progress, dial the desired station number. When you receive the busy tone, press star 8 and join the conversation. Now we'll begin examples of paging. Here's a demonstration of how to issue an all call page. This type of page differs from an emergency all call in that not all levels of admin phones have the capability of using the emergency all call function. To issue an all call page, lift the handset and press pound 10. Issue the announcement and then hang up. May I have your attention please? The buses for the field trip have arrived. Next, we'll page only certain page groups. Note that groups are end as their number plus 10. For example, we enter page group 1 as 11. To page group 1, lift the handset and press pound 11. Issue the announcement and then hang up. May I have your attention please? Will all first grade students assemble in the main lobby? Turn to page 5. Now we'll page a temporary group. To page a temporary group, lift the handset and press pound 35. Press the room number and pound for each room to be paged. Press pound again, issue the announcement, and hang up. May I have your attention please? Will the custodian please report to room 101? Will the custodian please report to room 101? Let's review samples of message waiting functions. Next, we'll show how to originate message waiting without a ring. To originate message waiting without a ring, lift the handset, press star star, and dial the desired station. The message waiting lamp illuminates. Now here's an example of how to originate message waiting after placing an unanswered call. To originate message waiting after placing an unanswered call, lift the handset and dial the desired station. After receiving no answer, press star star. The message waiting lamp illuminates. To extinguish the message waiting lamp, lift the handset press star pound and the desired station. The message waiting lamp goes out. Turn to page 6 to review the restrict test room pages and tones functions. To restrict or block pages and tones in specific test rooms, lift the handset, press pound 85, the desired station number to be blocked, followed by another pound. Press pound again and hang up. To cancel page and tone restrictions in all rooms, lift the handset, press pound 87 and hang up.
Now we'll turn to page 7 for master clock time schedule control functions. Here's how to activate signal schedules. To activate signal schedules, lift the handset and press pound 51 through pound 58 for schedules 1 through 8. Press star and hang up. To restore all signal schedules to automatic operation, lift the handset, press pound 59, then hang up. To deactivate signal schedules, lift the handset and press pound 51 through pound 58 for schedules 1 through 8, press pound again, and hang up. The last item we'll cover is speed dialing. You can assign any function, paging, relay controls, frequently called numbers, etc., to one of the speed dialing buttons available on the admin phone if your phone is equipped with speed or memory dialing capabilities. Refer to your phone manual for specific instructions to program speed dialing. An emergency all call normally requires three keystrokes, pound, pound, zero. When accessed via a speed dial location, you can make an emergency all call by pressing a designated key that is clearly marked all call. An area or zone page normally requires that you press pound 11 through pound 34 for zones 1 through 24. However, if programmed in a speed dial location, accessing an area or zone page requires pressing a single key. This video has covered important basic operating procedures for your admin phone. For more information on other basic operating procedures as well as advanced operating procedures, refer to the admin phone operating instructions, Simplex Publication SND-31-014.